Hey guys, welcome to Inside the Ed Farm. So we have any ginger beer? Uh, it's not a regular beer. It's how, called the ginger. How tard? What's what's how tard? Tallard. <laughs> well, there's a, there's a little fish guy Haltard. in there. A little fish fin in there. Um, I think it's tallard. I'm pretty sure. Um, it's gluten free by the way. So oh you're welcome. my god, you're all gluten free. No celiacs for you. Uh, spiced ginger warmer, limited release. Oh, it smells warm. Put us those. This is the second spicy thing we've had today. Mm-hmm. Third spicy if you mm-hmm. have the mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's Delicious. so good. Perfect. Perfect spices, man. My tastic watermelon for some reason. Oh, that's why I took the thing out of my mouth so I could so I could drink this. Um gross. Hey, how are you doing? You know what, man? I'm living. I it's uh we got a big a big important event coming up at work, and I've been kind of super involved in it. This is the weekend it culminates. Uh, and we're like the campaign hinges on the other mm-hmm. edge of a knife currently, and we're like, let's See what happened. We don't know. On the edge of a knife. Yeah, but uh, but also, just a little. It also means I basically just have to work Thursday through Sunday without a break. It's so. pretty late. I don't know anyone that does loser shifts like that or like works like extra. I'm not working for Saturday or Sunday, so that's just you. You're a loser. You say that now, man. No, no. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, yeah, you've said somebody's calling right now. Ah. Uh, oh, Mattel, I, I, so I got the black long I'm so sick. <laughs> Um, it is my weekend off, so somebody will call it, probably. I thought you are off every other weekend with your kids. I'm off every weekend, but every weekend I don't oh. have my kids, that's when they... Oh, also it doesn't count as off when your kids are there? Say it out loud. No, I'm saying, like, I have a weekend just myself. I do L.A. Night. Yeah! L.A. Night. Um, yeah. All that. Yeah! yeah. That's one for my Ellen Knight, two for your Ellen Knight. You, you look more like Ellen Knight. You look kind of like, a, like an overage, like douchebag. Pastor Prime. You could have said yeah. douchebag, yeah. Well, I was, a douchebag was there. I just wanted okay. to see Pastor yeah. Prime first. You're saying Ellen Knight is Pastor Prime? Ellen Knight is Pastor a fan Prime. of this, first off. So Sorry, he's going to hear that, Sorry, and buddy. you're getting BFT. Sorry, bud. You're getting the big, big fucking... <laughs> the big friendly giant. <laughs> BFT. <laughs> yeah. Um... I'm great. Don't don't even ask me. Uh, what do you got? Hey, uh, R.I.P. Richard Lewis, guys. That's really where how we should start to top this off. Uh, I was gonna I was gonna put a fake mole on. I forgot. Hashi and Hashi. You said you got I was gonna put a fake mole on. I forgot. No Virgil. I have a mole. Oh, Virgil. No, the same thing. It's always just Hiroshi Tanahashi and Virgil are the same person. That's just sick. Oh, that's <laughs> first of all. Hiroshi Tanahashi is living the dream. Yeah, he's well. He's the president well of. Uh, NJWP right now. Yeah, very well WJP. I mixed up. Uh, NJWP. NPG. NPR. He's the president of NPR. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he just, of course, <coughs> luckily, uh, um, just lost the, uh, the TV title, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Somehow, and then they being president. That's how it works. On uh, the TV title, Matt Riddle just won it. It's gorgeous, though. It's like a square belt. It's like really, it looks like a, like a, the uh, uh, NWA World Heavyweight Championship. It's got that thick, like, that's cool. Hey, th- that's just for a wrestling Let's talk, Let's bring it down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about uh, one of the biggest uh, things that's happened this week. A lot of layoffs coming yeah. PlayStation, a ton of them. Uh, not just PlayStation, but a lot of studios uh, in general, including Deck Nine and Until Dawn, which is Until Dawn, a, a uh, developer, super massive, uh, which is very PlayStation adjacent. Uh, though I don't know if they're an exclusive studio. Uh, a lot of people laying off a bunch of employees. Uh, Deck Nine claims that they're affected by the game industry's worsening market conditions, which it is that time of year that that happens. Uh, PlayStation itself, they laid off 900, 900 employees. Yeah. Including their whole London team, which is where they work on a game. Like, and they're just like, you're done. Yeah, I think it was called, uh, it was called the Cheerio. Uh, it was called Imperialism. I yeah. Think. Um, just, it was basically. Conquer sovereign people that are yeah, having a peaceful It was time. a co op game where you go uh, as two British people, obviously. Um, and and they, they have, like, very British. They have, like, curly mustaches. And then you find, and like,. Uh, indigenous people's landmarks, and you just name them after your fucking boss. And like, this is Mount Steve, and you're like, oh, Mount they, Steve. They claim cool. to be very strong, but they actually just have in, in superior technology. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, I call this the Wallace River because I'm, I'm the boss toughest of man. Boss. I'm going to fight one of these aborigines. <laughs> Gee, I fought him with this gun, and he died. I'll name how you know I'll name his land after my boss, Gordon. <laughs> it's called Gordonstein. Uh, my favorite thing about 
British culture <laughs> is that they name shit after their fucking boss. Lake Victoria. Like, this, this is really Victoria Falls. This is why we have a the problem. Victoria River. I I saw a pretty girl named Victoria once, so I'll name this river after her. Like Jesus fucking Christ, this has a what? name that means something. Like literally, there the one of the most important uh, archaeological and historical and religious sites in Australia is. Ni- the English name for it is somebody's fucking boss. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's every place in Australia. In Uluru, I think, it's, I think it's called Uluru. I think it's at, it's at one of those big plateaus, it's like a, just a rock that comes out of the ground. And it's like this big, and they're like, we'll call it Mount Steve. And you're like, what, bro? Like, what? Brisbane. I really Steve. love my boss and I want to be impressed with me. Maybe he'll give me a raise. I mean, they were prisoners, I guess. <sighs> Not for that. These were explorers. That guy was the explorer. And stupid. <laughs> Name after my goddamn boss. What, what are you doing, man? Melbourne. <laughs> it's something ridiculous. He's like, Wallace or something. Uh, but, Matt, the biggest thing that I know that you're going to be sad about. Yeah. Sony cancels his Twisted Metal live show scan. Now, you could have paid to be Sweet Tooth. You could or you could have been like, to be like Dill, Dill Tooth. Dill Tooth. 69. Well, he could have been like, he could have been like, you go to like Sweet Tooth, but he has a pickle for a head or something. Like, and then you pay for it. You pay ten bucks for pickle tooth. You pay ten bucks. You pay twenty bucks for the pit for for a Sweet Tooth, and then you pay ten bucks for the for pickle tooth. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, they also lay off a lot of people from Naughty Dog, from Insomniac, and from Gorilla, the uh, creator of Horizon Zero Dawn. So, uh, I don't know if that makes sense. Spider Man. What what are, the, uh, what are we doing right now? Yeah, games? Insomniac was just announced as like when their their best selling game, that Spider Man Two, just announced it was their best selling game. They're laying people off there. Well, I mean, like Horizon Forbidden West did really well. And Last of Us, Last of Us is like their best money making property at this point. So like, I don't know what's going on. Bro. Uh, is like, it the TVs? What's happening, Sony? Like you know, we need less people making these games because we already have heard the horrific working conditions these people under to get a game finished. So let's have less people doing that. Good. Um, I have another dumb idea though, and this was no luckily ways to die. canceled because uh, Wendy's was. Like, oh, hey, no, this we good. are going to do, take this Uber-like model that during busy hours we're going to charge more for our stuff. Um, yeah, it's called dynamic pricing. You, that's called you, dynamic it's called pricing. surge pricing. Surge oh, pricing. Right. Um, but also, fuck you, Wendy's. Like, if you never want me to go there again, which I'm already pretty much off. Well, Matt, what's, what's good is they probably want to pay their employees more during those times, right? Fuck you, Wendy's. They're gonna pay their employees. Yeah. More they, well, they only have right? one there at in each on each shift at this point because nobody wants to fucking work there. But also, give me a break, man. Like, are you kidding? Uh, so the place where I work is gonna start doing that. There was some backlash. You want money out? It's gonna be uh, five dollars for yours, six dollars. You want? Yeah. <laughs> like, so the, there was some backlash, and they were like, "Just we're just joking. We we hang. We just <laughs> 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 we're floating why out would, there. Why would anyone do that? Just send it back. Like, and then I, I, I don't know <laughs> what." Did they think was going to happen? Like they thought, oh yeah, I'd like to pay sixteen dollars for one of your fucking garbage burgers well, like, at five p.m. And like, it's not like it's going to be like the baseline is lower than it could no, probably is. No, no, it's not. not at all. Yeah, it's like it's going to be this the shit even, that you're. But even if it was, was, fuck you. Like, <laughs> yeah, if you come here at two thirty, man, how about, you get how would I give you the finger? Wendy's bad form. Uh, Dave would not be if Dave was still alive. He's rolling in his grave right now. That's all I'm saying. That's why I don't eat your square burgers, Wendy's. You used to be a funny guy. Now you make it shit up. Yeah, White Castle's in a square burger. What do you? Yeah, it's true. And they slide us. They grave. That's all I got for that. Uh, well, I have a great thing, man. Okay. And this is I, I'm gonna I, I'm not gonna put this at the end. This is the best thing of, okay. of the week. She needs to get right Just now. you can stop yeah. after this. So, are you ready? For game scent. Oh, I did hear about this. Uh, yeah, it's a new AI device that lets you smell the game worlds that you play. Okay. How ex- Matt, you you love The Last of Us, Matt. Wouldn't you love no. to smell that world? Like, I'm thinking all Wouldn't the games you love to smell. I'm not that thinking of the games I love. Ooh, what? What? It, it smells like fetid corpses. Yeah. Oh, it smells like just like fucking body odor. Nobody has oh. odor anymore. Like oh shit. It man. smells like fungus. Ooh, like just dirt and grime. Man, mm. you, maybe you'll know when it's like because you're by You want this here now. You can smell it. it smells like mushies. Mm, and they're mushies. Like what? Is I a, better start shimmy. What does a fucking bloater smell like? Right? Like yeah, that's kind of smell like. Is this all farts? Garbage. Is this all farts? Um, I would weird weird. I would make a game that is only farts. 
Man. Okay. okay, so so don't get too excited yet because okay. we're not quite at that level. I don't have so it's another device that lets you smell the worlds of the games away. I will use real time audio cues to dispense and a this sense AI, by the way, that corresponds with the game you're playing. Uh, you will be able to use it with PCs, consoles, and VR headsets. Oh, so the audio cues are like, and then they yeah, and then, so then the fart like that little fart. <laughs> uh, the device will use the device will use swappable cartridges to keep the sensory adventure going. That's actually a quote. Okay, uh, this is this is actually. There's a lot of stuff out right now uh, that's hip that has like something that like augments something else, like all these water bottles with the flavor. Yeah, like the blue pills. Aiden, blue Aiden loves those. Oh, uh, Aiden loves those oh. water bottles that have like <laughs> yeah. Airset. You put like yeah. Yeah. well, he doesn't have the airsoft one, but there's like ones that are, like it's Rain basically like, it's basically like if you put a meal just into the bottle, so it's like it tastes like um, iced tea, yeah, like a pepperoni. Yeah. <laughs> pepperoni. Yeah. 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 Can we get a pepperoni one of those? I can't remember what his, the name of his is called. Um, but yeah, there's a scent one too. Like I don't, I don't know. Like, why? First of all, it's he get. He's like, oh, can I get a couple of these packs? I'm like, sure. And they're three fifty each. So I yeah. ended up paying like twelve dollars for four yeah. packets of, yeah. of like this fucking thing. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, Me? cheaper than buying a drink. At yeah, a store. like you could have got Kool Aid for ten cents, man. Like, what are we doing here, bro? Like, <laughs> I'll buy the sugar. Mio so definitely place. cheaper than that shit. Uh, <laughs> so, so meta. It will come with a clean air neutralizer to remove the scents after a gaming session because everyone smells this. Whatever you're doing, everyone <laughs> smelling it. That's good because I want people not paying attention to smell that shit. That's what, what I. The, really what does it smell like? Gunpowder. Yeah, like uh, so. OG box will include six scents: gunfire, explosion, racing. Racist? Clean? Oh. Racing. <laughs> okay. What does a racist smell yeah. like? What does racing smell like? Like tires? Yeah, like burned tires. I want one to smell like space. 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 Uh clean space. air clean air is the, the what so clean cleans air. the scent by the way. What? Like that's just a scent that cleans the air. Like fuck you. Uh at storm and forest. I want space. Like the fried steak. However, Matt, other scents. Are behind a paywall, basically farts, in the farts, future, farts. such as sports arena, blood, and fresh cut grass. Did you get to smell blood or sports arena? <laughs> I want sports arena restroom. I feel like sports arena is just, yeah, just like like the don't like wouldn't the it just be the fresh dome? cut grass would be a, an outdoor sports arena, right? So what what else would you do? Like, so like hot dogs? Yeah, something? yeah, like like hot dogs, like and a hot fucking pretzel, hot popcorn, popcorn or something. Like a hot pretzel, oh, like fuck out of here, and a urinal. Can you wear your can you wear your your apple so your nice. apple goggles? Yeah, yeah. Get the same thing. And you're in your cyber. And then yeah, <laughs> you're being on the swivel boobs, scram boobs, and drive your cyber truck <laughs> and drive yourself. You're driving it, and just like mm, it smells like uh, gunpowder and fresh boobs. And this yeah. is how we spiral to death. Matt, do you think that? Okay, so the, we're on the ground floor of this. Do you think we no. can make the sex smells for this? Well, we definitely have like, to. Like, just like, like we're us together. together. I'm not doing <laughs> no, that. No, I mean, like, we're not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, very, whoa, 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 whoa. But maybe. <laughs> it is hump right? day, I guess. We're yeah, recording this on, right? Uh, but uh, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like, we get on the ground floor on this, and we get the porn smells, and then we, we patent them. Yeah, and then, like, because that's oh, what it smells like. like pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're going to buy these, and they'll yeah. love them. And smells then we, like then we're the kingpins of this. Smells like, like <laughs> sweating boobs. Like I yeah, yeah. Now, I, now, you have great ideas already. I think we're gonna use them. Well, I mean, I figured they were yeah. on. I want when you leave here. I want you to go home and think of okay. six more ideas. I can do that easy. Ah, uh, <coughs> easy, easy money. Um, but um, like the four D thing. Like, it smells. It smells like lube. Just like <laughs> that lube. Just like, just like that, that weird spermicidal lube. lube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the lubricant smell. It's just like mm. okay. it smells like latex. Yeah, like I'm smelling that. Um, lube. they mix together. Oh, like, a, like a like a like a, a like a orgy. Like yes, a sex arena. Sex arena. Sex arena. Yeah. Like, 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 See, Matt, you're, I'm glad you're on board with this, man. I mean, I, mean, I will. I will make money anyway. I don't give a shit. So let's, yeah, let's do it. No shit. <laughs> this guy's no shit. No shame. Let's make the let's make That's the money. Those um, guy. Uh, speaking of no shame, I met. So, uh, hold on. Oh, no, I thought we were done with No, no, because we got to okay. film the price. Okay. Okay. This is available right now. It's gonna be like a hundred dollars. Right? You can walk into Walmart and get what this. for a hundred dollars for one forty nine ninety nine. It's on sale. Though. The normal price is one seventy. So four fifty. So are we getting this and just doing it like a challenge accepted or something or? So we're doing ball Maybe, skates. Oh, maybe we'll do it for it like everybody. You have to get this for the for a vlog, 
and we'll make something happen. We'll make it happen. Matt, what if if I guaranteed we can get sponsored by games? (laughs) (laughs) Hey, guys, we're doing a Game Sim Let's Play today. Holy shit, that's like gunpowder. Yeah, I'm touching cannonballs. Cannonballs. Two two meaty cannonballs Ah. right here. It's... They don't have one for sex, it's just explosion smell the whole time. It's like the ozone. <laughs> yeah, my sex smells like gunpowder. So it's like ozone um, and, and burning. Now gunpowder. Uh, I need a never mind. Okay. All right. No, we'll get demonetized. Hey, man, um, if you're getting a kink, that's fine. Go hey, for it. Xbox creator, or Xbox, X Files creator, Chris Carter, Phil Spencer. He, he oh. gives Ryan Coogler <laughs> his blessing to do the X Files. The Coogs. That's what Coogs. Yeah. Um, he. It's we've already kind of talked about this before, where there's a rumor that Ryan Coogler is rebooting X Files, and that Warner Brothers is going to do this. And he's like, I guess he's like, listen, they own this property, so they can do whatever they want to with it. But they came and asked me for the blessing. So Sydney Sweeney as as uh, Scully, uh, who we're going to have Sydney Mulder. Sweeney as Mulder too. But what if we have Timothy Chalamet as Mulder? Like, hey Mulder, hey, what's up? Hey, like. Uh, it's out there or something, man. Yeah. Um, Tom Holland, obviously. He's like, oh, we got oh, 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 That's one for his, Tom Holland, two for mine. And one for my Zendaya, you heard it earlier. I did, you did a Zendaya earlier? I don't remember that. Yeah. Um, but uh, he says he's honored to be asked uh, for permission, but he's like, it's theirs, so they can do whatever they want. Yeah. I'm okay. I mean, it's it's not There's a, nothing else going on in the universe. It's Let's not a reboot. property that can't be rebooted. I think it could be fun if they have the right people for it. I, I wouldn't even mind like a reboot of that at this point. It's been yeah. a long time. Well, and that's what they're talking about. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Not just like, a, like we're the kids of Scully and Mulder. Like, no, no, no. Or it's not like one of those reboots that's done like five years after. You know, I like, am John Scully. And this like, is it's been Olivia 20 Mulder. years, 25 years. Okay, you know, the, the, it could be a property that they could do something with. Okay. Make and, then, and then you have... Ryan Coogler. Do and it. they have uh, and Jillian Anderson uh, do, a, do a guest spot. Like, she just walks in and goes, good luck. Yeah. Like, so then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And like, like gives a thumbs up on the way yeah. out. I'm okay with that. I, I want to see more in that universe. Make the rest of it, like, I think that that formula, I mean, it had, did work well. Fringe. You saw Fringe? It was fucking amazing. And that was the same, like, literally, it was a, it was a homage to the X-Files and amazing show. Uh, so let's get let's get this work going. Peter. We have a niche for this. We have people that want to watch it. Uh, oh, Olivia Dunham. Olivia Dunham. Uh, only, uh, only That's me. right. I'm here, too. It's me, Peter. Uh, Matt, speaking of Peter, Peter Bishop, be- beef season two is happening, and you could have more beef. You know, where's the beef? You get double the beef in this one, uh, because they, they, there's a rumor that Jake Gyllenhaal and Anne Hathaway are being cast, as well as Charles Melton and Kaylee Spaney, who are already cast in this So you think every, all those people are going to have a beef against each other? Like, they, they think it might be two different beefs. That may, they may be intertwine and become like a super beef. I mean, that can happen with beefs. Yeah. Can we call the episode Super Beef? Because I don't think we've done mm-hmm. We can't name the episode. I, 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 I need a pepperoni. Super water, Beef! Let's see if we can have too. Pepperoni, water, Super Beef. Uh, hype, uh, pepperoni, water, backslash, Super Beef. That's what it could have been that. Um, There's going to be one more of those Super Beef. Um, okay. I mean, it was good. I liked it a lot. I enjoyed it. When it was wrong. Um, I'm glad you finally watched it. I get to stuff sometimes. I'll never get to like Ball just Kids Dreaming. I'll never get back there. I, I was thinking about buying, I, I almost bought WWE today, but I didn't. How fucking dare you? I bought pants instead. I bought um, pants. I need pants. Um, how long are those pants going to last? Now, how long would WWE last year? Connor watched uh, Connor watched um, Elimination Chamber with me, and then he went and it reinstalled uh, WWE 2K23 and was playing it. It was kind of cute. So they can be the guys, yeah. He like made the generic like the generic powerhouse guy. He didn't do anything to him. He's like the black guy with the black trunks, and he's like right here. Do the, do the no no it's creative mode. It's already like, nice, perfect. Nice play. I like it. But he couldn't remember any of the things, so he got upset and turned it off. So like, I can't stop him from beating up. I'm like, you have to pre- when it shows the X, you got to press the X. Yeah, he's like, I, what? So this is me helping Gemma with Spider-Man. Uh, you got to move the... Get, 
Get, get him. Okay. Yeah, and I was just like, I'm not going to help you. You're good. Because I wanted to punch, and I want to punch you, so yeah. I got to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Duncan Egg. Spinoff. Now, the, this is the one you were excited about. Duncan Bright is the one I was, I was excited about. The oh, Irish Duncan Party. Bright. It's, it's Irish Party. Party. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, Duncan, Duncan Egg, though, uh, late 2025. The head type stories, I, huh? And, and this is the new the new Dunkin' Donuts uh, breakfast. No. breakfast Game of Thrones, Duncan right? Egg. Oh. Game of Thrones spinoff. We've been waiting for more Game of Thrones. But like, where are these Game of Thrones spinoffs? Like, do you think there'll be dragons? Um, do you think there'll be... There has like, to be. Will there be a cute be, thing? There'll be something cute? There'll be something dragon? There'll, there'll be, be like really dirty, a lot of dirty people that look like they smell bad. And then Sir Duncan the Tall will be there. He's tall. That's his thing. He's the dunk part of Duncan. Hey, you didn't know that, did you? Do you think that Sir Duncan will be the guy from Reacher? Jack Reacher will be really tall. Uh, he will be played his one, his by one really uh, tall. David Schwimmer, actually. This yeah, I'm really tall. tall. It's like I'm a uh, I'm Duncan. I'm Sir actually Duncan six one, one, but I'm not. And I'm tall. Where's the juice? I don't know where's the juice. Um, do you know who the egg is? Another different person named Aegon Targaryen. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, no, yeah, he's gonna play. <laughs> okay, we got it. The Matt Smith of fucking uh, names here. Maybe played by Matt Smith. I don't know. <laughs> no, nah, it's gonna be Brendan Fraser, obviously. I'm he is a now. young person, so I'm gonna Brandon say Timothy Chalamet. He's the apprentice of uh, Dun- Sir Duncan the Tall. I'm not backing down. Sir Duncan the Tall will be played by a tall person. A de aged Brendan Fraser. You know, I'd be okay with Brendan Fraser playing Sir Duncan the Tall. But being de aged first. I want to be an old guy. No, I want to be an older dude that's got a younger kid and they just sleep in the same bed a lot for some reason, which is weird. But factually accurate for that time in fantasy. You know, the faces get really close and you're like, are they going to... I think think that's gross. I don't want that. It's like a really old guy and a really young guy. But then by by season six, you're into it. (laughs) You're like, but they have backstory. You're shipping them. You're like, it's okay. You're like, Dunk Egg. He's got to be over 18 at this point. Right? And then you keep going, right? To the person next to you, like, and like in the book, was, she's 14. You're like, what the fuck? She's 12. What the fuck? Uh, she's 12 in the book. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? She got raped in, like, the first scene she was in. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening with the show? Why do people like this show so much? Oh, that, God. That's the same guy that can't finish writing his book because he's too busy looking at feet. So, I mean. Oh, God. What is happening with the show? Um, okay. Yeah. It's all you on that. Perfect. Uh, okay. Uh, Matt. Are you ready for the game set? I'm just kidding. I uh, <laughs> only have one thing left. In I only have two things left. Wow. Well, one thing I forgot to write down. Okay. So I'm going to guess what it is. She did. I'm going to guess that one first. Amanda Stenberg, uh, who's going to be in the star of the uh, Star Wars Acolyte. Yes. Uh, she's basically said like the part was made for her. That was made for you. That was made for you. And uh, and so she, she's basically she's super excited. She started the filming for it already. Uh, she's super confident in like the casting and things, uh, you know. And so maybe they'll give her the support they didn't give Daisy Ridley. Is that what you're yes. saying? And this is what I'm hoping, you know, because because she's it, it, the story sounds fun. Like she's a Sith acolyte uh, and basically an apprentice to like a Darth. <coughs> and like, what's her story going to be? Is it like a great Jedi thing? Is it a redemption story? Darth Brooks, right? Come back to the light. Darth, Darth Brooks. Darth Brooks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's Garth Brooks, but with a like, like a Darth Vader. Yeah, it's played by Garth Brooks, obviously, but he's got a something. We could do something like put a little mask on. Sure, it's not a he's like it's a strange combination of a woman or a child. Like, oh, and we know who it is, man. He's like, no, nope, I'm Darth Brooks. Like, I'm um, not Garth Brooks. Ned Gaines, where the heck no, Chris Gaines, Chris Gaines, and Chris Gaines. Chris Gaines you're right, you're like, yeah. That's my regular name. You're like, get the fuck out of here, man. No, oh, bro, stop. See yourself out. I said good day. Um. Yeah. Uh. I mean, I'm. I'm. I'm always gonna. Cautiously optimistic. I always gonna want more Star Wars stuff. Star Wars has been uh, to me. <laughs> Star Wars has been doing better than Marvel has right now. What? It is. That's a it hot take, man. It has. So you're saying Ahsoka, Andor, Ahsoka better? Ahsoka's better. Andor's better. What about Obi Wan? Obi Wan. I like Obi Wan. It was. Not the greatest thing that ever happened, but it extended the story. What, Matt? What is the greatest thing that ever happened? That ever happened? I mean, you, you're you're bringing out there. You said it wasn't. Are you saying like when was America great? Is that what we're trying? I'm to just say? saying. What do you think is the greatest thing that ever happened? Like after World War II, America was, was great. Then was it Jesus? My favorite. But after World War was II, it, I'm like, really? Was it was it the Rapture? Like that we missed? Obviously, that we obviously missed the Rapture. I mean, 
Didn't that manta ray? Was it the leftovers? That, that stingray just had the, the, the stingray just got version pregnant. So is there a stingray <laughs> Jesus? That's what I really want to find out. Um, stingray Jesus. Um, I didn't know that, and now I, I, that's all I care about. <laughs> like it's either I mean, stingray or manta ray. Like, but either way, what version birth? What is version? Like, we thought we were like the Darwin species on this, mm-hmm. but it's actually fucking stingrays. I can only hope. And they get raptured, guys. guys and we're just like stuck here. We like deserve this. No, we deserve this though. If Stingray Jesus stuck comes in, back, yeah, and he's just like, Stingray Jesus is going to be the fucking paradise, I'm um, less stuck here. Like, Stingray Jesus is like, oh, yeah, because it was kind of like, oh shit, we thought it was humans. Fuck, we thought it was humans. Oh, he's going to have like, all the Stingrays. Shit. There's a lot of Stingrays. Like, oh, that's a lot but of But then this one comes by and stings you real quick. <laughs> Why? Oh, Tommy? Why no! <laughs> it was dead in my chest! Neil the Pearly Gates is like, you're not a stingray, he just clicks the yeah, thing. No! Oh. St. Peter's also a stingray, I should have known! Oh, shit, I should have known that. St. Um, Jesus is the episode, that's great. <laughs> right. Um, Harry Potter. Officially, Harry Potter. unofficially, Harry Potter. the show Harry is coming Potter. out 2026. Oh no! Love it, love it, wait. Yeah, my hopes up for a second. Love it, like that. Love it, wait. Love it, wait. Ah. But there's going to be 10 seasons, they've said there's going to be 10 seasons over the 8 books. Uh, but do you think Brandon Fraser will be done the door? There's, um, there's no word. He's going to be nearly had this nick, first off. Like, um, I, uh, I'm nearly had this nick, guys. Hey! Uh, but there's no word about the House Elf Liberation Front. And I know it's your favorite part of the Harry Potter books. Or no, no, it's a, it's a Liberating Apes before Imprisoning Apes. Is oh, before. is that? That's an offshoot. No, it's the Eclipse the offshoot. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, you're right, okay. All right. Um, are we, so you know I said about health. Health. That's what. It's an acronym that it doesn't make a word, but it's a yeah. health. I mean, it's made by kids. They're, it's fine. It's like a H health. I'm I'm hoping I'm hoping that they recast Chris Isaac as a uh, Lucius Malfoy. Jason, Jason Isaacs. Isaacs. I was going to say Chris Isaacs. Hello, <laughs> <Isaacs. laughs> <laughs> Jason Isaacs, who what? also okay, okay, but Play. what? What if they cast Chris Isaacs as Lucius Malfoy? Only if he tries to <laughs> molest Sandra Bullock like he did it during that Academy Awards, where you're like, "What the fuck is happening?" And then Jim Carrey like almost beat the shit out of him by like by trying to malfrape him. And I was like, "Okay, okay, I'm down for this." <laughs> fuck you, what? Chris Isaacs. Fuck what? you. What the fuck is going on, bro? You Don't look that up. It sucks. <laughs> it's very, tr- it's very swampy. Um. No, no, no. Um, I think uh, first off, Professor Quirrell should be uh, uh, the Rock. Obviously, uh, easy casting for that. Couldn't the Rock? Uh, Dave Bautista's Hagrid. Give him something to do. He's like, yeah, I'm Hagrid. Yeah, I'm yeah. a big guy. I got a yeah. beard now. I am Hagrid. Yeah, I'm Hagrid. Uh, you're a motorcycle. So you're a wizard, Harry. I have a, and a damn good one yeah, too. I have a, I have a it's one for his Dave Bautista. I think I won that to be honest, but. You 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 decide, okay? I'm not. It's like an epic rap battle. Um, or did he sound too much like the original Hagrid? I think he did. Man. Oh. How dare you? <laughs> Play Robbie Coltrane, by the way. R.I.P. R.I.P. Rest in peace. Um, I mean, I'm tentatively excited, but also like fuck J.K. Rowling at the same time. I mean, I I like the source material. I I, I will wish, go back and watch Harry Potter. I wish that months, so. it had not been tainted in such a way. At least she didn't like molest little kids. I guess like I don't know. Like, yeah, she just like I keep thinking like Michael race, Jackson. Race. Race. But the thing is, now we're in this like place in our in our headspace in our world where we're like we have to put the the garbage in like an order. Like, <laughs> like well, at least she didn't kill anyone. <laughs> like uh she didn't commit. I can't enjoy anything anymore because you people she didn't are commit. gross. It, genocide like Netanyahu. Oof, I think we just got demonetized thing. Thanks for that. Perfect ending. Perfect ending. Um, I have one more thing. Orphan Black echoes, man. Did you see this? Uh, no, I didn't. Dude. I had heard so, there was more stuff coming from uh, Orphan Black. Orphan Black echoes a spinoff coming to AMC in June. Did we get Tatiana Maslany, though. We get Kristen Ritter, actually. Uh, okay. Who's the executive the EP of this. Uh, it's it's a spinoff that's set in the, in the far-flung future at this point, tw- 2052. That's... So it's like a cyberpunk. Almost. She seems to be. Yeah, it looks very altered. It has a very altered carbon. Film, I like the old carbon. So I get okay. Uh, where it's like the like they even like in the trailer like she discovers she is created from a clone that and breaks outside and there's this really cool like cyberpunk looking city and I'm like okay 
Like, I want to see more from this, obviously, because I do, like, obviously it feels like they're going to be, like, maybe a little too low budget with it. And, and I, like, you won't see all this cool, whatever this cool city looks like. But I would love to be, like, see the dirty, gritty 2052 city. Um, dirty, gritty 2052 And our city. new member of the Clone Club, Kristen Ritter. Yeah! I hope we still get Top Town and Maslani in there somewhere, but okay. Uh, she plays a character named Lucy. Um, and uh, I put looks for Ultra Carbon Life. Uh, she stars in the trailer. She stars opposite of Keely uh, Keely Hawes, who plays Doctor Kira Manning. Um, it was it was a really, it was a pretty short trailer, but it was just like it's basically yeah. like like her waking up like I don't know who I am like oh don't go looking for it. and then be like I did go looking for it and here it is you know because this obviously has <laughs> it's almost like a reboot almost like in some way it's, yeah but yeah. but it's, it is set in like the far flung future where it's like yeah that other clone is probably dead so to be maybe. flying cars <laughs> world peace. Uh, the other one that all I think. Nobody has student loans anymore, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we just made clones for a reason. Assassin? It's I gonna don't be know. worse, isn't it? It's worse. It's worse. Uh, it's gonna be an AMC uh, and uh, BBC America. So, man, if you have either one of those, you're sad. They don't. They don't, don't have those. You don't have those. Nobody has those. But you will get like I bet you around then you have a deal. It's like. Hey, you get six months free if you. Uh, by then, actually, um, <laughs> Disney will have bought up Paramount and BBC America and AMC and uh, it'll be a, like a glamour like, company. Like Arasaka, the, I believe, will be called then. Big Black Conk. Arasaka. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. BBC so America. No, it's American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. It's not, Made no. in America. So it's not like it's not Idris Elba. Yeah. He's kind of one of ours, though. At this point, we got we got you. Right. We got you. Idris. You belong to us now. We just, that's it's like Cockney and Rhyming Slime. Uh, hey, guys. I think that's all we got. So, If you made it this far, you are pretty awesome. If and you also made it this you far, get demonetized. like so and subscribe. Because you should be... If you enjoy this humor, we enjoy you watching us. And stay classy. And if you don't like us, keep it to yourself. Yeah. Or no, dislike us. We don't, and we'll take anything. We yeah, we don't care. Fin Fang Fu. It's all engagement. Fin Fang Fu. <laughs>